my name is Jiminiti and I'm a marine biologist working in Hong Kong. Today we're going to be going to a couple of different field sites. So firstly we'll be going to Cape Dagula, which is where the Swart Institute of Marine Science is located. And I'm going there with one of the postdocs from my lab to collect some copepods for one of his experiments. After that in the afternoon we're going to be going to one of the oyster habitats which we are sampling for a project that I'm running. So I'll get to show you what exactly we're doing for that project. It's super sunny outside, so hopefully it should be a nice day, even though it's going to be a very hot one. So yes, let's go! Here we are. So this is Cape Dagular, which is the Swims Marine Resort. So there is cocoa pods in this okay. <laughs> mixed with algae. Ash is looking for the cocoa pods. Green this is our volunteer Nidhi. Say hi. So what are you looking at? What I'm looking at is the red little dots that are swimming around. And this one here, see the green oh. sort of sack behind it is the egg. The egg sack, there's about 30 to 40 eggs depending on seasons so normally they change the way. Taking a sediment sample, which Khan and me 
maybe you're gonna filter the way over there. And then we will take it back to the lab to do DNA analysis. You're doing a great job, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> That's a biggie. That's a medium size. And then they get about that big. We had one um, on the other side. Oh, is that one at the last side? Yeah, 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 the one we dug out. Yeah. So that's where all these ladies are yeah. harvesting over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have collected everything now from the oyster habitat and the adjacent habitat. The guys have sifted it and we've collected everything in these bags. <laughs> and we'll take these back to the lab to do IDing. So we'll ID them just with a microscope and different books and stuff. And then also do DNA analysis on them. And that's pretty much it. And we will do this at different sites across Hong Kong twice over the summer and then twice again over the winter. Find difference between the biodiversity in the oyster reefs. And the adjacent habitats. Let's see it. So this is a mangrove tree and it, you can see it's covered in barnacles. Oh wow, that's really covered. Blimey. Seventy percent ethanol. Uh, yeah, seventy-five percent. Seventy-five percent. And then we store that and take them back to the lavenders. This is one of our volunteers, our very kind volunteers. Uh, would you do you want to pour this into here? Bye, my snail. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> nice worms in there. Why, why do we care about worms? Oh, that's <laughs> because they aerate the sediment. And they're very nice. <laughs> Don't you? What's wrong with you? Copepod collection at the swimmers reserve and then some of the sampling in the oyster habitats like I said we will do that all around Hong Kong twice in the summer and twice in the winter um, it's actually I'm actually really enjoying it a lot of my work before was either subtitled so under the water or setting up experiments in the aquarium so it's quite different for me to be kind of out on the shore so I'm actually really enjoying it it is really hot though at the minute in Hong Kong and it's making it uh, pretty difficult but you know still really enjoying it and you know it makes a change from being sat in front of the computer which no matter what you study as a marine biologist there will be a good amount of time that you spend at your computer either doing uh, data analysis or writing up your work but yeah uh, it was a successful day uh, thank you if you made it to the end if you do have any questions on the project that we are doing uh, please feel free to ask in the comments below and I will see you in the next video bye <laughs>